Welcome to Adapting Class. This is part of the series of endocrine review concept, paying attention to buzzwords and testing strategy. One more try and see if you can figure this out. It's the way to answer questions and break down the question and make the question so easy for you. What do we have? Look at the question. It's not a difficult question. Select or apply. Which finding below indicates what? Inadequate. Pay attention to the word inadequate therapeutic response. This is a follow-up question on what we just saw. A nurse is caring for a client with what? Hyperthyroidism. It's a bad word. The client has been taking the prescribed medication for 30 days. So I did not tell you, but it was prescribed medication. He's been taking it for 30 days. Which finding below indicate in the adequate therapeutic response? You're asked, what is being asked is what? Inadequate, pay attention to the word, inadequate therapeutic response. For a client, what is the case? I have hyperthyroidism. So hyper T, hyperthyroidism. This is equivalent to grave disease. And you've been prescribed medication to treat it, and you've been taking it for what? 30 days. Sits back, relax, figure it out. Straightforward, right? Rewrite everything again. That means somebody with grave disease is taking some medication to control the disease. Which of these findings indicate that the medication is inadequate? It's not working. Inadequate therapeutic response. That means you've not responded well. We need to increase the medication or do something about it. Then you say, what is hyperthyroidism, which is equivalent to what? Grave disease. That means you have too much thyroid hormones. Your T3 or T4 is too high. And why? When they're high, what do they do? Thyroid hormones increases your metabolic rate. So they make you hypermetabolic. What will happen? Everything in your system, everything will go up. Except because your metabolic rate is increasing your weight goes down. That's the key. That's all you need to answer all the questions. Therefore, I'm looking at the question. I said, if I have inadequate therapeutic response, that means the medication is not working. So I should be seeing signs and symptoms of persistent hyperparathyroidism, hypermetabolic state. That's all. You spend 30 seconds, break it down quickly, and you said, number one, low TSH. When you have grave disease or hyperparathyroidism, your T3 or T4 is high, very high. They have a negative effect on the hypothalamus, and therefore you tell the hypothalamus, don't make any TSH, so your TSH is low. Right? So high T3 will cause your TSH to go down. What do we see? The patient TSH is low. That means they're still in grave disease. They have no response to the medication and therefore it's an inadequate therapeutic response. I'm slowing down to explain to you how to answer questions. You see, to make sense, right? It has to make sense. This is what I see. Grave disease, your T3 is high, your TSH should be low. If I see your TSH should be low, you are still have grave disease, and therefore you have inadequate therapeutic response to the medication. I need to give you more medication to drop your TSH, uh, to make your TSH normal as much as possible, or high, so that your T3 goes down. If you need more of this, just check adapter because it's just endocrine, straightforward. Another key point, wide post-pressure. Look, 
when you are hypermetabolic, let me claim this, when you're hypermetabolic, okay, T3 that is hyperthyroid, when it's high, it increases, make you a metabolic rate high, very high. So your heart rate goes up. Your blood pressure goes up because your cardiac, um, cardiac output increases. The most important one that increases is systolic blood pressure. Your systolic blood pressure goes higher than your diastolic blood pressure. Therefore, systolic blood pressure is way greater than the diastolic blood pressure. What is going to happen? Pulse pressure is the difference between them, right? So you're going to have what? Wide pulse pressure if the systolic blood pressure is too high than the diastolic. Example is I have 190 over what? Um, maybe 60, right? So this is the wide pulse pressure of 130, the difference between them. So you don't want that. You want, you know, most people, that's why our pulse pressures are very like, you see, like, let me use normal blood pressure, 120 over 70. You see, it's like 50. It's not that high. That's normal pulse pressure. If you like over 100 pulse pressure, yeah, that's a problem. And so this, you should see uh, when you have great disease, grave disease, their pulse pressure is wide. But when you treat them, the diastolic come up, the systolic come down, and they are wide, the, the pulse pressure become narrow. Narrow pulse pressure, no wide uh, pulse pressure. If they taking the medication is inadequate, we're going to see a wide pulse pressure as if they still in grave disease. So these two indicate that. If I give you the medication to treat your hyperthyroidism, I will decrease your metabolic rate and your heart rate goes down because your T3 is down. If I see bradycardia, that means your medication is working. Decrease systolic blood pressure. I told you, when you have grave disease, your systolic blood pressure is high. When I treat you with medication, systolic blood pressure decreases. The question is asking you, inadequate. If your systolic blood pressure decreases, that means I have adequate therapeutic response. The question is inadequate. Therefore, this is not the problem. You take this hour out. When you have great disease, temperature is high, metabolic rate is high. Therefore, if your temperature is high, do you want to be in a place that is too hot? No, you have heat intolerance. When I say heat intolerance, that means you still have grave disease. Therefore, this is a problem. If I treat you, your temperature will drop, you will end up having a normal temperature or cold intolerance. That tell me, my medication is therapeutic. When you still have heat in Thailand, you're still manifesting yourself as a grave disease. And the last one, when you have grave disease, you stay what? Your T3, I said, is high. Metabolic rate is high. Everything is high. So your tender reflex is hyperreflexia. Hyperreflexia. That means you greater than plus two. So you are like plus three, plus four. That is what you see in hyperthyroidism. In hypo, you should see plus one. Low deep tender reflex, hyporeflexia. What do we have? Plus two. Think about it. Patient is hyperthyroid. Okay. Let's break it down. You are hyperthyroid. There's two things that will happen. If you are hyperthyroid, when I give you medication, so you, your T3 is high, you are hyper 
metabolic. When I give you medication, there's two things. You, your symptoms go down too much or it normalized. When your reflex is high because you are hyperthyroid, when I give you medication, it's to normalize to plus two. Or you can go to plus one. When you go to plus one, I know that I'm giving you too much medication. I need to come down, come, come, come off on it a little bit so that I can normalize you. So two things when you're treating patients with hypothyroidism, you normalize them or you push them down here. So either it's hyporeflexive or normal reflexive. Plus two is good. It means what? Adequate adequate treatment. If I see plus two, that means that's an adequate treatment of medication. The question is asking you inadequate treatment. The only thing that would make this inadequate treatment if I see plus four or plus three indicate the patient is still having hyperthyroidism. Therefore, plus two is a normal reflex. You will not see it in hyperthyroidism. The question asks you inadequate therapeutic response. Therefore, I shouldn't see that to tell me that is an inadequate. When I see plus two, I'll tell myself I have adequate therapeutic response. Which of these answers are wrong? Low TSH indicates hyperthyroidism. Wide pressure, post pressure indicates hyperparathyroidism. Bradycardia in, in, indicate you treated them well or they are in a normal state. Decreased systolic blood pressure indicates you good therapeutic response. Heat intolerance, they are still in hyperthyroidism state. Plus two deep tenor reflex, they are normal. You've treated them well. These questions are designed to get you think when you're answering and quiz questions, or you see a question, no matter where they ask you, you do your cue band, there's nothing ambiguity in it. You look at it carefully, break it down, and you will be fine. When you do that, that's all. The questions, they've given you everything. Nobody said a question and hide stuff. They've given you everything in the question. You have to break it down, find the content you need to answer that. And if you need help, adapt and class, catch you back. Take care of yourself. Subscribe if you've not. This is number three. Take care and stay tuned. Bye-bye.